Okay, I'm Lois. And I'm Charlie. And we have been told and we believe that we have the largest private collection of insects in the world. Yeah. <laughs> the story of how we met was uh, interesting enough. Uh, I was a teaching assistant at uh, the University of Arizona and uh, Lois was a student in the class that I was teaching. We've been married for almost 55 years. He's got a million stories about insects, all of which I've heard and all of which I can fill in sentences. And uh, we've traveled extensively, have been to all the continents and 70 countries collecting. It fills us with pleasure to get into the field and collect, to spend the time in the field together. Oh, you need to look at the antennae on one of these. It looks like a clown shoe. Well, I study weevils, and the weevils are the largest family of living organisms. These are plant hoppers, and I think their noses are cute. I collect plant hoppers, which are insects that feed on the juices of plants, the phloem or the xylem. With piercing, sucking mouth parts. With piercing, sucking mouth parts. Oh yeah, this is interesting. When, when we get some insects in, they're just dead. Of course, we have to mount them, so we have to pin them or point, point them, and then we label them. Ah, the glue was not stiff enough and he's fallen off his point. Then after I do that, then I sort them to genus. Uh, each of these units, uh, trays, holds 55 specimens on average, and we have at least a million weevils and a quarter of a million plant hoppers. Okay, here you come, Charlie. We are donating the collection to Arizona State University. And there will be research done on it, which is what we wanted to have happen. When we were entomologists at, at the university, we worked 14 hours a day, seven days a week. Now we're down to eight to 10 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but we both loved what we were doing and it was sharing that it was part of our life. Yeah. Which one do you think is the prettiest? These two. I don't like that one. Lois has often taken note of the fact that a very large number of entomologists are divorced. <laughs> what I recommend is if you're going to be a taxonomist, a systematist, collect insects, you get a spouse that is another entomologist. <laughs>